Hello, my name is Jamal Adib. I live and work in Gibraltar for around 14 years now. How time flies. Uh, I started out as a stockbroker and investment manager and then I concentrated on foreign exchange trading. And in this video, I would like to talk a little bit about this very particular area. As you can imagine, I often get the question from friends, should I start trading Forex? And the answer may surprise you. My answer would be no, <laughs> because uh, you have to imagine the picture many brokers and prop firms try to uh, sell to you is that foreign exchange would be a very easy way to make money online, to get rich quick and all of that. That's not true at all. I can tell you um, foreign exchange is very, very complex. In 2024, you have to imagine the market is completely dominated by so-called smart money algorithms. These are literally designed to make sure that most of the market participants, the traders, lose money, irrespective of whether they bought or sold or uh, whatever strategy they apply. Yeah? Whether the dumb money traders try to trade reversals or breakouts or pullbacks or whether they try to scalp. So if you look at the statistics, it's very clear. Um, the odds are against you. So I do not recommend anyone to trade Forex. Okay, do not listen to all the salesmen and marketeers out there who try to sell the products. Now, if you are really, really serious about this subject and you are really, really passionate, what you can do is you can um, start learning it and then at some point start demo trading. That means you can open an account uh, with demo money. So it's not real money. And you can test whether your strategy or style actually works. And um, this is easy to do. Many brokers allow you to download, for example, the MT4 platform for free. And I will predict that <laughs> more than 90% uh, of you trying that will realize that they lose money. So by doing a demo first, you can see yourself that you would have lost real money if you wouldn't have listened to that advice. So to summarize, um, for most people, foreign exchange is not a realistic choice to make money. Most will actually lose money. It's very dangerous. Be careful. Okay, you hear it here from horse mouth. I'm an experienced trader. I've walked the walk and I really understand how the market mechanics work. We even created own uh, technology to show how these mechanics unfold in real time. You need the real technological edge. You sitting at home in front of your computer trying to trade the forex markets, the odds are completely stacked against you. So please do not listen to all these uh, salesmen and companies out there who try to get you to, to trade challenges uh, or like to buy indicators or trading robots or analysis services and so on and so on. Okay, um, only a very, very small, small minority of people um, who is very, very committed to this particular activity will have any chance at all to, to become profitable. It's also a multi-year process, okay? So if you insist on doing it, um, I recommend you to um, expect half a decade of time to, so five years, five, six years, um, to invest into this, into learning this activity properly. So that's no joke. It's certainly not no uh, quick cash. <laughs> That's the reality of it. Are there many traders in Gibraltar? Unfortunately not, certainly not anymore. When I came here around 14 years ago, we used to be a big community of around, I think, 400 Germans, entrepreneurs, chess players, poker players, traders, and most of them have gone. Um, there are still a handful of traders left. As far as I know, I'm the only Forex trader left. <laughs> So no, there are not many traders left in Gibraltar. Unfortunately, there are many macro uh, economic developments and many uh, historical uh, developments such as Brexit, uh, which have um, changed the rules. Funds can no longer passport into the EU and so on. So um, no, there are not many traders left in Gibraltar. And um, I would estimate that there's maybe um, a handful left. Um, when it comes to Forex, I think I'm the only one. <laughs> so 
So what is a hedge fund? A hedge fund is a pooled investment vehicle. So basically investors provide investment capital and the trader then uses that capital to uh, employ a trading strategy such as manual strategies or automated robots. And the trader tries to um, achieve profit by controlling the downside by having his risk policy in place. And um, the difference between a hedge fund and a mutual fund is that the hedge fund uh, can trade basically in any direction. Often hedge funds are specialized in certain markets or with regard to certain strategies. There's a whole um, list of different uh, trading strategies and, and trading styles, um, such as long short equity, um, distress debt, uh, macro, uh, and so on and so on. Algo funds, quant funds are very popular these days. Um, these vehicles, generally speaking, are for high net worth individuals because think about it, um, the minimum investment capital for a vehicle like that is easily 250,000 pounds, 300,000 pounds, sometimes 500,000 pounds. So uh, that's the reason why even professional traders cannot take your 20, 30K uh, to invest it in a fund uh, because it's below the minimum. Um, it's not worth it when you consider all the costs which are required to keep a fund running. Um, these days there are many costs such as also compliance costs, administration costs, it uh, really adds up. Um, so to make a long story short, these vehicles are um, open to high net worth individuals or companies or institutional investors um, who often already have a stock portfolio, real estate, uh, startups, uh, crypto and so on. And then they want to maybe add a satellite to their portfolio like an actively traded strategy where the trader has a chance to make a profit for the investor and himself, um, no matter whether the stock market goes up or down and so on, because these strategies tend to be complex, often short term. So um, one re needs to really know how this works. Otherwise, uh, you know, this will result in a loss. So to summarize, uh, these vehicles are not really um, feasible for like retail clients. Also, the investor needs to sign a so-called PPM, a private placement memorandum. In this document, it's really outlined what the risk factors are. Uh, and of course, every trading, strategy is, every trading strategy has a drawdown. So not every month is profitable. Some months uh, lead to losses. So the strategy, which has been tested beforehand, should be so robust that even after two months of losses, it comes back and is profitable. And uh, regarding these vehicles, sometimes investors want very high risk parameters. Of course, one can choose how much risk per trade should be applied and the resulting profit and maximal drawdown is of course affected by that. Generally speaking, small funds, FX funds, um, often are high risk vehicles. So that means that compared to like long-term investing strategies, because the strategies are active, um, the risk may be higher, but also the potential return. Um, in Gibraltar, unfortunately, we didn't really succeed uh, in attracting funds from the outside. Other jurisdictions have overtaken us a little bit there. Um, even though in theory, Gibraltar is a great jurisdiction for funds because it's an English speaking place. Um, it has the pound sterling, um, it has the uh, Madrid time zone, it has access at least physically to the EU mainland. Um, it's um, regulated by the GFSC and um, yeah everything is very accessible it's a small but um, also efficient um, business community I would say uh, yeah so hopefully maybe in the future more funds uh, come to chip of course many of those players are waiting also what happens with regards to uh, the deal of the EU now after Brexit so again there are some geopolitical factors which also play into account Um, I would also like to, to talk a bit about this technology you see here. So we have developed this over many years. Um, it was a very, very painstakingly uh, complex process by analyzing order books, analyzing data, filtering data, understanding what, which of these da data sets is actually relevant and then you know, to actually get it as an output on the screens live so that uh, the human trader can actually trade this so-called market structure. It's a very unique approach. It's one of the few approaches which is also scalable. That means where also bigger accounts can be traded with. 
Um, it's still a very stressful activity. The human trader needs to be on top of things constantly. Forex is open also from Sunday 11 o'clock to Friday 11 o'clock, including um, the night session. So as a trader, you literally need to uh, design your lifestyle around the markets. So that means if I see that the market is slow on a Monday and prices are really in a range, I may decide to quickly work out in the gym. And then when I see that, let's say, big US data is coming out, uh, I'm sitting here sometimes 10, 12, 13, 14 hours uh, in a row. So things such as stress management, resource management uh, become very, very relevant um, for many Forex trading. Okay, I hope you liked uh, this information. Uh, enjoy. So as I said, do not just start trading with your own money. It won't end well. Save yourself a lot of pain. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let's hope that small funds and traders like myself will succeed uh, in uh, you know, um, getting local investors and to apply more complex strategies. There are not many of us left. Um, so let's see what happens. All the best.